Hello again Blux. Well we're out on the bike again, uh, another local ride and first port of call we found ourselves at Thelverton Church. Uh, not had a look in here yet so it's going to be a first for me. I do like a church, and, you know, I know I'm not a religious person but I do like a church. So let's go and have a look shall we? Well I just got to the door, uh, found it's locked so we can't go inside and have a look unfortunately. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look around the outside anyway. At least we can get a, a look at the architecture. Look at that lovely big old cedar tree. Uh, I've seen a few Norfolk churchyards that have got big cedars in them. Uh, one notable one is Royden, just outside the other side of this. Uh, sadly that got chopped down ooh, about 10 years ago and it got storm damaged if I recall correctly. Uh, it's lovely to see them, beautiful trees, get a bit of green all through the winter. Uh, you can see that one's got some cones on it as well. Uh, it's lovely isn't it? <laughs> As you can see I've got the Scott out today, um, she's better suited to muddy lanes and uh, the conditions that are out there today obviously with those plus tyres, 27.5 plus tyres, uh, giving me a bit of extra grip and stability over the sloppy stuff hopefully. And a patch light and little basic bare necessities are what I need for today just to just for a little ride out. So yeah, I've got the brew kit packed in there as well. So don't fear, <laughs> you'll be the usual video of me making a cuppa. Uh, I know you all love that. <laughs> I've also got a dehydrated meal pack with me today. I was obviously wanted to pack fairly light. So I've got water there. You can see I've got a water bottle there. I've also got another litre of water in the, uh, in the rucksack. Uh, adds a bit of weight, but you know, needs must. So we'll have that later on. Um, right, well we've had a little look round Thelton Church. It's quite a pretty little church. It'd be nice to go inside. Uh, we'll have to come back sometime when, it, when it's actually open. But uh, yeah, let's let's continue our journey on and see what our next destination is.
So there we are, this is Buckingham Castle, uh, the village of New Buckingham. Uh, I can't get in there, um, it's got a padlock gate on it. What you have to do, you have to go to the village shop and get the, the key from the village shop. I didn't realise that till I got here. Um, so I, I really don't can't be bothered to go all the way back to the village shop just to get a key to have a look. So, and, and to be honest with you, there isn't a great deal here to see. Um, there's like a round castle keep. Obviously you can see there's the big uh, castle mound and the remains, or I presume, of what was the castle walls that are obviously long since gone. And your bridge over your moat. It's a typical English moated castle. Looks quite deep that as well, doesn't it? So I'm going to stop, have a brew and a bite to eat. And then perhaps have a look around the village of New Buckingham because that's quite a nice little village. So we've gone for the coffee option today, rather than the tea. Um, good bit of caffeine to perk us up for the journey back. So I'm just gonna sit here, wait for the pot to boil. And I brought a dehydrated meal along as well. That's uh, one of these uh, adventure food ones. It's a uh, minced beef hot pot. So we'll give that a go and give our honest opinion on it, see how good it is. Hopefully it's better than the other two dehydrated ones I've tried. Um, because those, I wasn't impressed so far with dehydrated meals. Hopefully this one will change my mind, but we'll see. Let's wait for the pot to boil. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So while we're waiting for our uh, timer to count down and our meal to hydrate, show you a little bit of the Scott. Um, I don't think I've shown you much of this in the previous videos. In fact, I don't think I've shown you much of any of the bikes really. I think we just got out and ridden them. Anyway, 2018 Scott Spark. Um, what was it? 650B plus, I think it is, something like that. It's got the, uh, the thicker plus tyres on it. Um, basically, I bought it because I did a lot of mountain biking up Thetford Forest. I bought it for that. Uh, I originally bought the Voodoo. The Voodoo was alright, but I wanted something full sus. And the Scott was the right price. And this was what we ended up with. I've had a few modifications to it since I've had it. Uh, put a dropper post on so you can drop the saddle right down when you're going over rough terrain and that's not hitting you in the backside as you're going over bumps and jumps and things. Um, different grips, I've got obviously DMR grips on it and DMR pedals. Uh, I've gone, it originally had a, I think it was a 2 by 9 gear ratio set up on it. So you had two um, chain rings at the front and obviously a nine nine sprocket cluster on the back on the cassette. It's now a one by eleven and it's got a race face. Um, I think it's something like a 34 tooth um, front chain ring on it. And obviously your 11 speed hub on the back. Um, I think that's a Shimano XT if I remember rightly. <laughs> the derailleur's on the other side so I can't show you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was an XT. 
Yeah, it was. It was a Dior XT. Yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, not top of the range stuff, but it's it's perfectly adequate enough for what I want to do. Um, so got a high power light there, so I can be seen by the lunatics on the roads when I'm out on the roads. All right, so you got your got your lock out on here. That locks your suspension out. Um, at the moment, it's it's fully locked. It doesn't actually lock it completely. What it does, it just stiffens it up, basically. But you can soften it with one click. will soften the front. Second click will release the rear shock and let that travel more. So that's ideal for going over rougher ground, you know, if you want to give it a bit of welly over, over the gnar, as they say. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'm getting a bit too old for all that sort of stuff now. I mean, yeah, I, was, I, I did quite a, quite a little bit. Um, did a lot of riding up High Lodge opposite Thetford. Had a trip out, a couple of trips out. One to Cannock with a mate, and uh, the other one was Forest of Dean. We did a downhill, uh, a day on a downhill session there. That was absolutely brilliant. Loved it until I injured my ankle. Uh, that sort of kind of put the mockers on at the end of the day, uh, but yeah, that, that was that was a good day out. Honestly, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing that again. Uh, and she's been a couple of times up to Dolby as well. Uh, we've had a ride up Dolby and enjoyed the trails up there. My God, that's hard work climbing up there. And I'm now getting to the age where pedalling is is <laughs> it's getting very strenuous. It's a lot of effort, really. So yeah, I'm possibly looking towards going to the dark side um, yeah we're, we're thinking of the dreaded e-bike uh, as and when funds permit obviously at the moment really haven't got the funds to buy an e-bike so I've got to make do with what I've got but you know it is what it is um, and <laughs> I need to get out on my bike more and I need to get outside and exercise more um, I went for a checkup not long ago with the doctor he's basically turned around and said yeah you need to lose half a stone mate so <laughs> it's, it's either that or you know i run the risk of diabetes and this sort of you know that having to go on tablets for that and yeah i don't want that so all the all the more impetus for me to get out on the bike basically right we've had our 10 minutes it. Oh yeah, it's still warm. It's done the job well. Let's have a look. See what we got. Ooh. Ooh, smells nice. potato and all sorts there. I don't think you can see that very well on the video. There we go. Let's give it a, give it a swirl, shall we? found a winner, Adventure Foods, minced beef hot pot, that is really nice. Mm. There we go. Yes, that's hydrated well, no crunchy bits, it doesn't taste off. Mm. Not bad at all. Right, I'm going to enjoy this and I will see you in a bit. So, the Adventure Foods Mixed Beef Hot Pot. Big thumbs up from me. Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, it was very, very sustaining, comforting, tasted nice. Um, yeah, weren't much, 
much I could really say against it. Um, there were a few little dry bits in the bottom, but that was, that was mostly my fault. I didn't check thoroughly that I mixed it all up, but yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, after the other two dried meal failures, that one's definitely a success. So yeah, Adventure Foods, you get a thumbs up from me. That'd be coffee. Make a move in a minute. Right, so about two miles from home and a little bit of a stop here. This is Burston Station on the Great Eastern Main Line. Uh, you're looking here at the station building which is on the London bound platform. This is about two miles north of Dis. Uh, can't remember when the station closed, I think it was the late 1960s, obviously one of the beach enclosures. But uh, luckily the building, most of the building still survives, which is nice. the other side of the crossing and some useful information there we go so this is the terminus of the Eastern Union Railway from London and the station closed in 66 Now that's a good sunset, proper winter one that one. Right, well the light's fading so I'll uh, draw this to a close. Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting ride out. I've done well, 22.8 miles, I'm about another mile and a half from home, so say 24 miles. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's been a good ride out today, good leg stretcher. Uh, yeah, I'm sore in parts that I haven't been sore in for a while now. Uh, that saddle is particularly tough. I think I'll go back to the Voodoo because it's got a softer saddle on that. Uh, no, it hasn't. So, yeah, 
well I hope you've enjoyed the, the ride out today. It's a shame we didn't get to see the castle, well we didn't get to see much of the castle. Uh, we'll do a trip out there in the summer, I think it's probably better, better weather than that. Um, so yeah, until the next sort of reasonably interesting trip out, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.